everybody, it's Nicole from Cause We Love to Scrap and today I am going to be using the My Creative Scrapbook November Limited Edition Kit to document my cute, festive um, fingernail polish. This was actually from last year, but I didn't get around to scrapbooking it then, so I'm scrapbooking it now. And um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. All right, so the first thing we do here is paper piecing, of course. So I'm going to take, um, I'm gonna go look through the papers to see what I want to use for this layout. And I'm going to definitely use the poinsettias and I'm going to use that green plaid that's in the back. Those two together. And um, here's where I decide I'm going to get rid of the white paper and get a cream colored paper instead. And so um, basically I, I really like that little Holly and Berries paper too, but um, no. Um, all right, so I'm gonna cut this to nine by nine. And then I'm gonna cut the green paper to, I believe, nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. I don't know why I didn't make this bigger, but yeah. Anyway, and then I'm gonna gut the middle of it so that I can use more of this paper um, on another layout. So you'll see me doing that. And I wanted to do a one inch border, but I wound up doing a one and a half or a one and a quarter inch border because I'm weird and I can't calculate correctly sometimes, but that's okay. It still works out. So I'm gonna gut this to, I'm gonna gut this um, two inches around so that it is obviously a little bit bigger. And you'll see that here in just a second. So I have all of these and I'm gonna go off camera and I distressed them all and I went ahead and stuck them down. Now I'm cutting my photo down to three by three inches cause that's how big my little um, layout, my grid layout is gonna be. There's gonna be four three by three inch um, sections. And now I'm going through to see what pattern papers I want to make for the three by threes and here is where um, I decide I'm going to use all the polka dotted ones so I'm going to use a gold polka dotted one and a red polka dotted one and a um, green polka dotted one here I'm trying to see if I want to make one of these my uh, titles but I decide I do not want to do that so So here we go, three by three of the red, and then I'm gonna do a three by three of the green. So those pattern papers go back. And then now that those are there, um, I went ahead and went off camera and I distressed them and put them down on the page. And now I'm just doing a little outline um, along the edge. And in the upper left, I wrote December 2023. In the lower right, I wrote love this. And now I'm going to start embellishing my little clusters. Oh, first I add some detail to my doodles to make them kind of look like stitched lines. If you like this um, kit, the limited edition kit from My Creative Scrapbook, there is a link down below in the description so that you can find it easily and um, go check it out and see if you want to go ahead and uh, grab this for yourself. Here's my title, Merry and Bright, because my nails are merry and bright. Um, and then I'm looking for stuff that I'm going to put on my 
little clusters here on my grid. And I wind up putting the stuff that's on the green one down on the red and the one that's on the red down, down on the green. There we go. So here we are just getting those perfect, seeing what else we can use. I went off camera and I put those down. Now I'm bringing in the flowers from the kit. Um, I'm gonna grab, I think just one red flower, right? Or do I use two? Well, maybe I do use two. And then a bunch of the white flowers. And I'm also gonna use some of the leaves from the white flower pack. Um, I don't show it on camera, but when I'm gluing them all down, I'm like, ooh, these leaves look great here. So I go ahead and I start using them. So yeah, I do use that red one over there. And I think that's where they're all gonna go. Maybe, maybe not, maybe I'm gonna, oh, yep, I'm gonna put some over here on my hand. And then that kind of gets rearranged too when I'm gluing them down. I don't show me gluing them down on camera because every single flower I hold for like 30 seconds. So right now I have already went off camera and stuck them all down. And now I'm adding all the splatters to my layout. But yeah, every flower, it takes like 30 seconds for me to hold it down for each one. So I'm not gonna show you guys me just holding flowers. Um, I'm using three different, well, I'm using these two from Shimmers and then I bring in the Goldilocks from Shimmers as well. I'm gonna use it after this Caribbean sunset. And it doesn't add the pop of gold that I want. It is like, it's a very, very shimmery, shimmery um, spray, but when it comes across, it's it's not bold. So I do grab my Heidi Swap color shine in gold and I add splatters of that too. And I'm gonna show that in just a minute. So um, after I add those splatters, that's gonna be my layout. So again, if you're interested in the November limited edition kit from my creative scrapbook, I do have a link down below for you. And um, I'm going to have some close-ups at the end of this so that you can see it a little bit better. And then uh, if you like this video, I would love it if you um, gave me a thumbs up. If you're new here, I would love for you to join me more often and subscribe. And um, I hope that you like this video. So thank you for watching. Until next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.